Big Chop's got everything you need. Guns, ammo, and soup. Hey, Mariner. Harbor's Guns. safe as it's going to get. You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something crazy? A reason and sense keep steering you clear? Are you all right? People with serious medical conditions sometimes make rash decisions. It's nothing like that. I've been stealing myself to do this for years. Can't go putting it off anymore, can I? The Red Death. May have heard of it. The big monster lives beneath the waves. Only strikes when the fog is thick. People think it's some drunken sailor's tale. But no one goes sailing when there's a fog on. In their bones. They know there's something out there. Is there any evidence the Red Death is real? When I was a little one, I went sailing with my aunt. Fog rolled in thick and fast, and we saw it. Glowing red, crimson, an unholy light that stretched to the sky. My aunt was no fool. We rode to shore with all our might. Tide made it hard, but we hit landfall. For whatever it's worth, I believe you. Thank you. With my business here done, and knowing someone like yourself, I seek to end this unholy terror. Dozens of boats over the long years been claimed by it. I mean to hunt this Red Death. Are you with me? Count me in. Bring whatever weapons of death and mass destruction you got. Meet by the docks. You take your boat. I'll take mine. This trip is going to test our metal more than anything. You need it? Late shop's got it. Mariner, please. I heard about this expedition of yours. We need you. Please, turn back. I thought you didn't believe, Captain. Well, the Mainlander does. And together, we're going to put an end to it. Mainlander, if the Red Death's real, we can't afford to lose you both. With all I've seen and faced, this Red Death doesn't scare me. Don't say you haven't been warned. I'll meet you there. The Red Death is going down. for your boat. Don't tamper with it. The shoals near where we're headed can easily capsize a boat of your size. I'll catch up to you. Not much further, Mainlander. When Auntie Stacy told others of her brush with the Red Death, they laughed at her. Then, two weeks after, a full fishing boat never came back. From the beach, they saw the glow on the horizon. I've been looking to end the reign of the Red Death's terror my whole life. Wrecks all around it. There. You see it, right? Meet you there, and get prepared.
It can't be. That? That's the Red Death? Are you sure this is it? It's got to be... the red glowing eyes. I mean, when the fog's thick, that little fella is deadly in his own fashion. The shoals around here are treacherous. A middling captain with a might of curiosity would run aground for certain. And this far from shore? That'll end you. Looks like you achieved your goal. <laughs> there it is. My whole life, I've been having nightmares about a little Mirelurk. <sighs> what do we say to all the folk back home? I meant this to be my last great adventure. Instead, if we tell the folk back at town, I'll be a laughing stock. We could just say we didn't find him. If you'll back me up, I'm happy to do that. Let's go. I thought, I got this for you, to celebrate. I didn't think it would turn out like this. Find it. Did you end the scourge of the seas? We looked for it, but uh, just didn't find it. What a relief. I figure if you did find the Red Death, you would be goners for sure. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Uh, well, perhaps you'll find it next time. Hey, Mariner. Seems like 
the end of the road. Every time we've talked, you've given me a lot to think about. Might be time to come clean. Tell the others about my condition. But after all that, I just don't know. So what's your plan? I'm working on it. I mean, at the end of it all, what's worth doing in your final days? What's worth leaving behind? Do what you can to leave a legacy. Something to be remembered by. I like the sound of that. <sighs> no matter what happens, or what goes down, you were a true friend. Food in front, dock and back. The bait shop. Don't let the island catch you off guard. Buy my guns. Old Longfellow?
I'll find ya. Whatever. You take your time killing that trapper. Make it hurt. The way I've been hurting since I lost my den. That trapper who killed your husband is dead. Then it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost. All those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. It was you, an outsider, a mainlander. The final chapter's been written. The story has come to an end. 
This is a day I never thought I'd live to see. Thank you. I was glad to help. I hope I've put your mind at ease. You certainly have. Now every good story's gotta have a happy ending, right? The hero finds the treasure, saves the sweetheart, and rides off into the sunset. Well, I'm a little old to leap up on a horse. But I have got something close to a treasure. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for... Ah, oh, let me think. Oh, for at least a generation or two. There's no Daltons left to inherit the thing. So it might as well pass on to you. The island knows this weapon. Oh, yes. You carry this, and it'll take you seriously. And that's it. That's the end. I can sleep easy now, knowing there won't be any unfinished business when they put me in the ground. Off you go now. My story's over, but yours... I think yours is only just getting interesting. The fog is dangerous. Okay. What model power armor is that? Nice. You ain't armed. You belong to this world. Buy my guns now. <laughs> 